Good day Ziggy D here and for the first time in 17 years Blizzard has announced a very new IP, a completely new universe, Overwatch. Also, moving into a genre they've never been in, well, they were almost in it, but didn't quite work out, the FPS genre. Locked and loaded. Now, yesterday, some of you guys might remember me saying that I thought today's announcement would be a loot-based shooter. Well, I was 50% right, but we kind of missed out on the loot. But you know what? I'm not even mad because this thing looks awesome and it makes a hell of a lot of sense. The way they're rounding out the, their uh, product offering here with uh, kind of like a Team Fortress-like game and let's be honest, I'm not, not going to sugarcoat it. It seems to be moving to that sort of territory of a team-based FPS, very cooperative sort of experience. And uh, I think that really fits Blizzard's bill. So I think this calls for some confetti. Yay! <laughs> So in case you're wondering where I'm standing, I'm right in front of the main stage now where this morning the game was initially announced and oh man did they hype us so much. It was pure torture throughout the show. People were comment like they were commenting on, you know, you guys may have seen all the computers set up in the middle of the arena that have no signage around them and stuff. <laughs> and like, you guys may be wondering what's going to be announced a little bit later. You guys may be wondering what the empty section of the schedule is. So they kept like really ramming that down our throat, but I tell you what, when they finally announced it, it was all worth it because that first, uh, that first like few seconds of seeing the cinematic that they put out for it, I was just like, wow, what a breath of fresh air. So this is a huge departure. No doubt you guys have already seen some of the like cinematic releases and stuff like that. If not, you can find it on like the Blizzard website and on YouTube, I'm sure. But uh, basically, this is a completely different art style for Blizzard. I actually asked the developers, we had a uh, developer press conference earlier, where I asked them about this departure, and uh, I think they had some interesting thoughts to share on that. I think it's been awesome for the artists. Um, our lead uh, concept artist uh, is a brother named Arnold Sang, uh, and he has a killer art style. Um, and we kind of embraced Arn's art style um, very early. Um, there's just something super mega about the way he draws characters, just hyper, a hyper proportionate like Samwise would do, but um, kind of bigger than life, um, super dynamic, uh, and we've just been in love with this style. It's a freshness that I think we've needed, um, and it's super fun to watch. It's almost this multi generational thing now. Already got crusty old, you know, dinosaurs like me with you know badass ninjas like Arn, and we're finding a new way to do it and a new way to find it. Um, and while I think it provides a particularly distilled vision for Overwatch, it's killer for our culture. Um, you know, you, you can't stay the same. Um, and I think we're finding, you know, new highways and new ways to express the, the Blizzard ideal um, in very cool ways. I, I love it. So in addition to that initial announcement teaser trailer, they also showed off some gameplay, set up a huge amount of computers for people to actually play the game here, which kind of blew my mind because I expected like a teaser trailer and an announcement of what the game would be like, but I didn't expect like an actual playable game here today. So pretty awesome. I have had a chance to have 20 minutes of hands-on. I did a, uh, a two, two sets of rounds uh, with two different characters. I played with uh, Tracer and Pharos, I think it was. Tracer is the one that's kind of like the spokesgirl for the game a little bit. Uh, she's like a very fast mobile character with the ability to manipulate time, leap herself forwards, leap herself backwards, leap herself sideways, and actually re re rewind time three seconds. So basically, if you run into a bad spot, get shot up. <laughs> Oh man, tripping over words here. Get shot up, you can actually rewind time three seconds and move back to where you were. This is great because you can like run past someone, go really gung-ho, take a lot of hits, do a lot of damage, then rewind time, get fully healed back to where you were at that point in the game, and then be on the opposite side of them and finish them off. So I had a lot of fun sort of circling around people and really using this high mobility. And if you're sort of a, a Twitch FPS player, this is uh, a sort of character that you're gonna very, very much enjoy. I did play Ferris, this, uh, I think it was Ferris, this is kind of like missile robot mech, suit wearing uh, girl who uh, is all about firepower and flying around and un unleashing missiles on things and that was quite a bit of fun though I didn't quite have enough time to figure her out very well. So the game overall basically is kind of like a hero based shooter you know heroes are all the raids at the moment and I think the point of this for uh, 
for Overwatch is to make a game, make an FPS that's more focused on abilities and teamwork. So rather than having different guns that you pick up and a lot of different power-ups, they're keeping the objective simple, they're keeping what you can get like on the ground. So basically it's just like health packs you can pick up in certain areas that respawn, but everything else is pretty simple. So the real focus is on that teamwork and those hero abilities. And each of the heroes play extremely different from the looks of things and from what I've tried down so far. And it is really a, like a focus on how you use those abilities and how you use those abilities with your allies as well. A good example is there's a medic and uh, she can fly around and when you're chasing after Tracer, so when you're chasing after Tracer who moves very quickly, you can actually use your dash to cap keep up with the person your healing ability to be able to get around the map very quickly. So although the medic's not very mobile herself, she can lock on to the very fast character to get across the map really quickly. So that's just kind of an example of some of the different combinations you can pull off by combining different heroes' abilities in a sort of like teamwork fashion. So overall I'm pretty impressed. I thought when I first saw the trailer, I'm like, uh oh. People are going to freak out and be very unhappy with this because it's very different to Blizzard's art style and this is a very not Blizzard looking game. But I think the more you look at it, the more you realise Blizzard's influences and past experiences going into the game. And you can definitely already see that Blizzard polish, that Blizzard coat of polish over the game. And although it is a very different art style and a very different look of a game, it's, it kind of feels like a breath of fresh air. I mean, I love the traditional Blizzard, Warcraft and Diablo art styles, but this is kind of its own thing. And I have to say, it was, as I said, very refreshing. So I think uh, overall people were really impressed though, like people's reactions so far, everything I've heard and like the cheers from the crowd were really, really right up there. So I think uh, a lot of people's minds were blown, but uh, in a very positive way. So I'm definitely going to be keeping a look, an eye on this game. I think it's uh, after my brief play with it, I think it's a lot of fun. I'm probably going to try it out a few more times while we're here and uh, I'll keep you guys posted on the progress of the game as well and anything interesting else that I find out. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm Ziggy D and thanks for watching.